Good morning. Welcome to my class. I am Leia Kiao, your teacher in PLE9 Kukiri. Now, we will start our class with a prayer. Please bow your head and close your eyes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, God, for another day. Come be with us, inspire us, and lead us in our time together. We ask all this in the beautiful name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, good morning once again. Okay, now, please raise your hand if you love desserts. Okay, I know we really love desserts, so think one of your favorite desserts, and at the end of the lesson, you will identify what type of dessert is your favorite. Okay, now think about it. Our topic for today is about desserts. It's very familiar, but do you really know the types of desserts? If not, then it's your time to listen carefully. But before that, we have learning objectives that at the end of the lesson, you must first identify the types of dessert, second, explain the importance of dessert in a meal, third, classify desserts according to types of ingredients used, fourth, demonstrate enthusiasm in learning the different types of desserts, and the fifth one, listen attentively showing deep respect. Now let's proceed. Dessert is usually sweet course or dish usually served at the end of a meal. The importance of dessert in a meal are first. Dessert balances out a meal and gives closure to the meal. Second, it is an opportunity to experience different flavors and textures that you cannot get in other foods like veggies, meats, and fruits. Third, there is an opportunity to be creative. You can make interesting mixtures that you otherwise may not have thought of. Fourth, dessert isn't fattening. Remember, there is no such thing as a fattening food. Fifth, it will make you feel like a kid again. Sixth, it is romantic. Desserts are designed for romance. So that's the reason why desserts are important in a meal. Now, because we already know the importance of desserts, let's proceed to the types of desserts and their characteristics. Number 1. Fruits The simplest dessert and one of the best because they are nutritious, appetizing, and easy to prepare and serve. There are characteristics of good fruit dessert. Appetizing aroma, simple, clean wash appearance, and must be slightly chilled. Number 2. Cheese is another excellent dessert that is ready to serve. It is made in all parts of the world from a variety of milks from cow, goat, and sheep. Cheese differs depending on the kind of milk used, the kinds of cheese making procedures, the seasonings, and the ripening processes that also distinguish its variety. Each variety has a definite character, a special appeal, and particular uses. So there are three general types of cheese based on consistency. Number one, soft. It is soft and spreadable with a mild flavor such as cream cheese, cottage cheese, and curd cheese. It is unripened cheese and ripened by bacteria. Then the semi-hard. It is firm, crumbly, and can be sliced such as cheddar cheese, edam cheese, and asiago cheese. It is ripened by mold and ripened by bacteria. So in science subject, we already know that there is good and bad bacteria. The third one is hard. It is crumbly, dry, and great for crumbling and grating, such as parmesan cheese, romano cheese, and gouda cheese. Hard cheese are with and without gas holes. Number three types of dessert is gelatin. These are easily prepared, economical, and vary in many ways. Gelatin is marketed in two forms. First, the unsweetened granular type that must be softened in water before use, and second, the fruit gelatin to which flavor, color, and sugar have already been added. Then, number four types of dessert is custard. 
The main ingredients are milk or cream and egg yolk. Baked and soft custard vary in so many ways. Creamy, delicate baked custard may be served in their baking cups or may be unmolded and served with fruit garnishes or with dessert sauces. There are two characteristics of custards, the baked and soft custard. The characteristics of baked custard has the firmness of shape, smooth, tender texture, rich and creamy consistency, and has excellent flavor. While the soft custard has a velvety smooth texture, rich flavor, and has pouring consistency of heavy cream. Number 5 types of dessert is puddings. Are relatively simple to prepare and vary with sauces. These are classified as 1. Cornstarch pudding, sometimes called blamange, number 2. Rice pudding, and number 3. Bread pudding. The characteristics of pudding has attractive appearance, excellent consistency, well-blended flavor, firmness of shape, and accompanying sauce to add interest. Number 6 type of dessert is fruit cobblers. These are not fruit pies. They have a depth of 2 or 3 inches and are topped with biscuit dough rather than being made with pie crust. They may be served either hot or cold. Number 7 type of dessert is frozen desserts. So there are 3 types of frozen desserts. First is the ice cream. It has smooth frozen mixture of milk, cream, sugar, flavorings, and sometimes eggs. Second, the sherbet and ices. It is made from fruit juices, water, and sugar. American sherbet contains milk and cream, and sometimes egg white. The egg whites increase smoothness and volume. Ice contains only fruit juice water, sugar, and sometimes egg white. Third are the frozen sofos and frozen mousses. Are made like chilled mousses and bavarians, whipped cream, beaten egg whites or both are folded to give lightness and allow to be still frozen in an ordinary freezer. Now let's recall the 7 types of desserts. First is the fruits. Second is the cheese. Number 3 is gelatin. Number 4, custard. 5, puddings. Number 6, fruit cobblers. And number 7, frozen desserts. So what type of dessert that they are not fruit pies? Okay, it's fruit cobblers. Then, what dessert is the simplest and nutritious? Okay, very good. It's fruit desserts. Now, get a piece of paper and you will write down your answer. After this, you will take a picture of your answer and send through my messenger account and that will be your attendance for today's session. Now, let's identify what type of dessert based from the picture shown. Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Okay, number 1 is pudding. Number 2, frozen desserts. Number 3, gelatin. Okay, so who got perfect? Okay, please send to my messenger account. Then let's proceed. Why is it important to have a dessert in a meal? Okay, dessert has many importance, but one thing is for sure that dessert balances out a meal and gives closure to the meal. Okay, how about you? What can you say about dessert? Now, let's classify the following according to the types of desserts. Same instructions, answer in a piece of paper, then send through my account. Number 1 ice cream number two fresh mango number three rice pudding number four mozzarella cheese number five corn maha and number six leche flan okay copy then in the assessment write only the letter and send in my messenger account number one which of the following is considered the simplest dessert a custard b fruits c gelatin d puddings Number 2. It is made in all parts of the world. 
from a variety of milk from cow, goat, and sheep. A. Cheese B. Cobbler C. Custard D. Yakult Number 3. What part in a meal or in dessert is best eaten? A. Before the main dish B. At the middle of the meal C. Last part in a meal D. Any time in a meal Okay? Did you copy? Okay, screenshot and answer. Okay, so did you learn something from our topic for today? I will end my class with a saying, There is always a feeling that your meal will never be completed without a dessert. Because desserts really satisfy our meal. Thank you for watching and see you all next meeting.